You appear with the tedious inevitability of an unloved season. I didn't think there were any seasons in space. As far as you're concerned, only winter. And the treacherous Dr. Goodhead. Despite your efforts, my finely wrought dream approaches its fulfillment. Your dream, whatever sort of nightmare it is, has no chance, Drax. <laughs> you think not? We shall see. We're coming up to second launch position. Launch globe number two. No doubt you have realized the splendor of my conception. First, a necklace of death about the Earth. 50 globes, each releasing its nerve gas over a designated area, each capable of killing 100 million people. The human race, as you know it, will cease to exist. Then, a rebirth, a new world. U.S. spacecraft on course to intercept us, sir. Activate laser. Prepare to destroy spacecraft. You see, my dear Bond, we're well able to protect ourselves against all enemies. Allow me to introduce you to the airlock chamber. Observe, Mr. Bond, your route from this world to the next. And you, Dr. Goodhead, your desire to be America's first woman in space will shortly be fulfilled. Leaving you on your flying stud farm, conceiving your new master race. If you like, yes. And of course, anyone not measuring up to your standards of physical perfection will be exterminated. Certainly. Interesting. Most interesting. Jaws. Expel them. Jaws, you obey me! Expel them! <laughs>